How's it going everybody? You're watching Danibal Tech and today I have an extremely useful video for you guys because I'm going to teach you the easiest and the best way to permanently delete data from your iPhone. And why is it so good? Let me explain. I say easiest because you can, if you want, you can just press one button and you delete all data from your iPhone, clear cache, everything, absolutely everything, you get it brand new, so you completely wipe out the data, or you have the option to selectively delete what you want. So you can delete data from one from one application or another, delete data within an application. So for me, this process is at the same time extremely easy and also very, very complete and powerful. So let's begin. Okay guys, so let's begin and for this tutorial we're going to use a software called Dr. Phone as you guys are seeing here. So we will need a computer for this, uh, but don't worry because they have versions for Mac as I'm using right now and they also have versions for Windows, so don't worry because you're covered, okay? Uh, of course I have uh, a link in the description right here, so you can just go ahead, click and then you can download Dr. Phone for yourself, alright? Uh, I have used Dr. Phone before, have used this software before and I just love it because it is so complete, it has so much many different tools as you guys can see here and I have another video right here on Daniel Baltac which I also I'm also gonna have a link in the description showing you guys the transfer tool this one right here and I just love it it's super simple super safe and super stable so in this video we're gonna obviously use the erase tool so it's a different tool right here so let's go ahead and begin so let's just open it up so as you guys can see it is asking me to connect my iPhone to the computer so it's very easy as you guys can imagine just connected via USB so one end on the computer the other end you connect to your iPhone uh, it is very important as well to leave it as it is so uh, unlock it leave it in, in the home on the home screen otherwise it's gonna ask for your passcode so as you guys can see it is just like instant it automatically recognizes your iPhone and then now you're gonna have access to the menus to actually begin to actually start our tutorial so right here we have three options uh, these two I have already covered so we have the option number one which is called erase all data so we can easily wipe a whole phone or your patient your personal data from it so it's very very easy we're gonna delete everything from our phone clear cache absolutely full uh, delete so it's an absolute full erase as the name suggests so we're gonna delete all data from your iPhone all operation history on your, on your iPhone and all settings on your iPhone so as I said we're gonna delete everything and have it brand new so we have the option right here to go ahead and start uh, let me show you the other options first uh, so as I mentioned one button full, de full, full delete so super super easy one very important warning guys right here at the bottom we have to erase your data permanently please disable find my iPhone because of course find my iPhone is a security feature so we have to go ahead go to settings Apple ID and disable find my iPhone before we go ahead and start erasing stuff okay so uh, we have this first uh, option right here as I said to erase all, all data and we have the second option which is the one I mentioned before as well that you can selectively uh, delete data from applications so this is very very interesting because you can delete just what you want for example uh, you can delete uh, Safari data so there's very interesting cookies and cache and things like that uh, voice memos contacts so let's use an example and I'm gonna delete contacts so uh, as, as, as you can see obviously I have a lot of contacts right here on my iPhone uh, and then I'm I'm gonna select contacts and then start guys very important before we begin pay attention to this please so uh, when we're deleting any of those files right here it's as if we're actually going on our iPhone and manually deleting those files meaning that if for example your contacts are in iCloud and if you delete them you're gonna delete them from iCloud and from all your other devices so from your iPad your Mac and everything like that so it is the same story here so uh, I'm selecting contacts as you see and when I start and when I erase it is going to it's going to erase all those files from all the other uh, devices as well because of iCloud so if you don't want that to happen go ahead to your settings and then go to iCloud and disable iCloud in your iPhone okay so disable iCloud right here in your iPhone this is important because uh, because of this is going to be unlinked from this iPhone so it doesn't matter if you erase from your iPhone that you're doing right now uh, the files will remain in your iPad in your Mac okay so it is very important if you don't want to delete files from iCloud as well to actually unlink 
uh, the association right here in your iPhone, okay? Very important. And now we're gonna have, uh, it asks you to put the passcode, just a security feature again. So we just put the passcode. And then as you guys can see, it's gonna start analyzing and scanning your device. Please wait patiently. So we're gonna uh, have this analyzing stuff right here. So it's gonna analyze everything we have on our iPhone, the data and everything else. So now all you have to do is go ahead and wait. And then after a few moments, as you can see, it loaded all my contacts right here. So as you can see, contacts 949. So it's a lot, I know. So so all you have to do now is go ahead and click. I'm gonna click on all, but of course, if you want, you can select a few here, which is much faster than actually going through your contacts and going through menus one by one here. It's much faster because you can just select with these boxes. So that's why I said it's much easier than actually going through your iPhone. This process with this software is always much easier. So for this demonstration, I'm gonna select all, as I said, and then erase. Now, as it suggests, I'm gonna type the code. And then very important to close all my apps. So I have already closed on my iPhone right here. I've already closed all the apps. And then all I have to do now is go ahead and erase now. And as you can see, it's already erasing. So it's saying to avoid damage on your device, please do not disconnect the device while erasing. So of course, just leave it plugged in and then let it do its thing, let the software work. And as you guys can see, it's already in 20 something percent, almost 30%, so it's gonna be very quick. And now, just like that, after a few moments, we're done. It's saying that it's rebooting device to apply the settings. And then after the device has rebooted, let's have a look. So we go ahead and open our contacts and we see no contacts, of course. So this is so, so super simple. As I said, I had 949 contacts. Imagine if I wanted to delete them, going one by one would take a whole day. And with, with this, it took just a few minutes. So this is very, very awesome. And of course, as I mentioned, we have this uh, let's just connect it again. And of course, we have this for many, many different file types and applications. So media data, personal data, and social app data as well. Uh, so now let's go ahead and get back to our first option, which is also very, very important, which is to erase all data. So let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, guys, so before we start the erase all data process, uh, keep in mind that in this case, it is a little bit different from the erase private data, the one you select uh, exactly which one you want to delete, because uh, on this process, if you hit start, don't worry because you're not gonna lose your files from iCloud. For this process right here, it is actually gonna delete everything. So uh, it is just gonna delete information from your iPhone. So all your iCloud information, your contacts, your media, your photos, your reminders, your calendars, everything, they will still be in iCloud and will not be automatically deleted from other devices. So pay attention to this because again, uh, if you're erasing selected files, you have to be careful not to delete from iCloud as well as I explained before. I'm gonna go ahead and start the process and we're gonna delete everything from our iPhone a completely in full wipe so we're gonna erase everything and have it brand new all right so same story we're gonna go here and type the code and then uh, close all applications it is very important as well as I mentioned to turn off find my iPhone and then we can go ahead and and erase now. And now the process will start the exact same way. Uh, we're gonna first erase apps, erase music and iTunes, photos, uh, advanced data uh, erasure, and we're gonna, at the end, erase private data. So we're gonna do all of that, and we're gonna have the process right here. We are already at 30%. So again, even though it's a full erase, it's so fast, so easy. So let it do its thing. And again, guys, we get this screen again, saying that the process was successful, and it is rebooting device to apply the settings, and it has already rebooted. And right here, as you guys can see, we're seeing swipe up to upgrade, and then we're, we're gonna go through the normal setup to set up our phone, because it is completely erased, and then gain access to it again. Okay, guys, so here we have it. As you can see, the process has finished and my iPhone is completely 100% erased. Uh, there are no files, there are no apps, not anything like that. It's 100% blank out of the box. And as you can see, as you can imagine, I have like no contacts, uh, no messages, no notes no reminders, absolutely nothing. Everything was completely 100% wiped out in this very, very easy process, easy tutorial with pretty much just pressing one single button, which was this one, and then everything was done so easily. And as I mentioned as well, I have other videos on this channel showing you Dr. Phone. Uh, in that occasion, in the other video, I have it showing Transfer, the tool called Transfer, which helps you transfer data from uh, your phone to a computer, again, from Mac or PC, so it's great 
great and the link is in the description as well so that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you like it make sure to hit the like button down below and i'll see you guys in a couple days bye bye